is an art form you may recognize from the 70s. Macrame art is popular again. It's a pattern of knots with cords, making this textile it can be relaxing, it can be rewarding. We invited Ella Kent to reintroduce us to macrame. It's great to meet you, Ella. Good great to, to have you. you. So when I say making a comeback, that usually means it's an old idea with somewhat of a new updated uh -huh. style. What's the spin on macrame today? So the spin is definitely new rope. So back in the 70s, we saw a lot of oranges and browns, which is what the clothes, what the furniture, what the yeah. carpets, it all looked Don't make us remember. Don't yeah. make us. <laughs> so we're in with a natural color, which makes it more classy and timeless. Um, there are some new knots as well. So if you can see this this oh. is more of like a modern macrame. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Thank you so much. So there are some like new knots, um, but then today I'm gonna be showing you just more of the traditional knots that were seen in the 70s. Nice, before we get into the knotting, the actual hands-on, I just wanna be inspired by some of the possibilities. Yeah. So this is kind of the grand prize winner. I mean, this is huge, <laughs> and how long did this take you? I did this yesterday. Oh my so gosh. It took me all day yesterday. All day, this uh -huh. was your all day work. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Yep. Smaller scale, but still just as detailed. Uh-huh, yep, so this is the spiral knot, and the square knot, and the half hitch that I'll be showing you. Is it addicting for you yeah. once you get going? Yeah, it totally is and get into a mm -hmm. project. Here you've added greener, you've added yeah. succulent. So this is something that you saw a lot of in the 70s. It was mostly plant hangers that you saw. And so I just took the plant hangers and then spun it by doing a wall hanging because wall hanging is what's more popular now. Got it. Tell me about the tassels up front. Um, I just, I've got some um, keychains because if you've noticed like the cute pom-poms that moms put on their diaper bag or whatever. Right. I just made some keychains so you could put it on your keys or in your diaper bag. And then I've got like a binky clip. I've got a little boy. So oh. I attach his binky there and clip it onto his shirt. Look at this. Yeah. Can you wash macrame once the rope is knotted? I've never tried it. I mean, maybe if you put it on like a light spin, I'm sure, sure you could. This is so cute Thanks. and so trendy at the same time. <laughs> that one over there, I just want to run my hands through with yeah. the trailing tail. Yeah. That's at a the bottom. One. So that's the exact same knot over and over again that okay. I'll be showing you. Okay. Where does this fit on the style scale? Who would like this, do you think, Ella? So I think, um, I mean, my grandma who used to do this, she loves it. Yeah. So maybe the people that, you know, were familiar with this in the 70s, I think they enjoy it. Um, definitely like college students with their cute little dorm rooms. Mm -hmm. I know that like decorating your dorm room was so fun. So um, I think on a smaller scale, doing smaller pieces of this would look cute in there. I've done a couple dream catchers for like little nurseries for little girls um, and little boys actually. Um, the dream catcher idea, I think, is so sweet. Yeah. We saw a photo, too, of a mantle drape. Mm -hmm. Right here, right? Down front yep. here so on that, our table. I hung that across my fireplace, but it could also be like a wedding banner. I've done weddings where you could put your cake, you know, on the table and then have a cute banner. I mean, you can, you can fit these in with anything because they're so... Um, like the color kind of matches anything. Yeah, it goes with any mm -hmm. event, any style, mm -hmm. any gender. And I love the idea of like the mantle banner or the party banner in this case because yeah. it takes up a long vertical totally. space. It can be hard to find mm -hmm. party pieces yeah. that spread the space that like you need it to. That aren't shiny and you know, exactly. you wanna, yeah. party theme. Mm -hmm. So what supplies would we need if we wanted to try this at home? Okay, so um, you definitely want to start off with obviously cotton rope is what I um, would recommend Where do you, get you this? can do. So I got this at Hobby Lobby. Okay. Um, but I've only seen a couple that sell them at certain Hobby Lobbies in Utah. Uh -huh. um, I've gone up to women and they're like, what in the world is macrame? <laughs> so, so it depends. You have to know what you're looking for. Yeah. It was on the aisle with like the feathers and the beads, so just okay. ask them to take you there instead. Show me the feathers, uh -huh. I'll show you the macrame. Yep, okay. yep. So some of them have that. Um, Walmart, again, it's in like the hardware, but there's like the black rope that's inside of it because it's more for like, um, like house use, and so I would have to like pull out the black <laughs> rope, which would take forever. You're like elbow greasing it yeah. on the aisles of Walmart yeah. to so, get to what you need. Uh huh. So for my small business, I just use knotandropesupply.com. Okay. Which is, I mean, they just do rope. So That's I just order do. it there. Uh huh. Um, Will you teach us? Yeah, Will totally. You show us? Yeah. So this is called the um, double half hitch. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you're gonna do is this rope is what's leading the line. Uh huh. So if you want to hold, uh, do you want me to show you Sh one? Show me quick? one and then teach okay. me one. How about that? So, so we're gonna make a U. Okay. Pull that through just like a normal knot. Okay. And you want to pull it tight and then do that again. I bet your fingers start to fly <laughs> as the yeah. talented crafter I know, I have to like slow down. Sorry. Okay, so I'm making a so, U. So sorry, I didn't oh. explain that right. So oh. then you're gonna leave this one and move to the next one. Oh, gotcha. So now you're gonna make that U. Uh-huh. Pull it through once. 
and then pull it through again. You do it twice and mm -hmm. then move on to the next strand. Uh -huh. Yep. And then just pull oh, it Oh gosh, tight. dare I? Yep. Dare I try? You got it. Um, close, and these Bella. are good, the double half hitch is good for like when you're trying to make triangles and you're wanting to kind of define your lines. Uh-huh. So, um. Am I getting this? Yep. So then you just kind of want to position it. So oh, yeah, slide mm -hmm. it over and then do that same thing again. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, okay. I can see where this would be so addictive. Yep. You just kind of have there. to keep going. And okay, that's one not. Okay, good us job. One more. Yep. So pull that tight. Okay, okay. awesome. So I like that validation. Is that how my two-year-old <laughs> feels when I cheer her on? I hope so because that I know, felt right? good. That was uh -huh. so kind of you. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna split these off. Okay, so this next one is the square knot. That's cool. And I'm telling you, once you learn this knot, you can do anything. Sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need four ropes to do it. Uh -huh. Let's see, where am I? Okay, and but Does sorry. it matter that some are spreading and fanning out like that? So I, sorry, I actually did that to, oh. Oh. to this rope um, because I like the way it looks to have a little bit of diversity. So it's messy, it's like mm -hmm. more texturous? Yeah, or, okay. yeah. So what you're gonna do is you've got your four strings. Yeah. These two middle strings aren't gonna do anything. So you're just okay. working with the outer two. Oh, lazy bones. I know. You're gonna make a number four, do you see that? I see it. And then this one is gonna go under, uh -huh. behind, and through. Okay. Pull that up to the top. And then what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So you're gonna make a backwards four. Backwards four. It goes over, over, behind, behind, and through. Through. Okay. So, do you want to? No, no I don't. Do you want I, want, to okay. I want to see you do it one more time. Okay. Go. So, the number four. Yeah. Over, behind, uh -huh. and through. Now, what happens if you go wrong with the over, around, okay. and through? So, good question. I'm gonna show you. So, so, so this is a square knot, right? So uh -huh. then you do it back to the other side. Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. so that will just make the continuous right. square knot. Right. If you just do the same one over and over again, uh -huh. it makes a spiral knot. So if you mess up, good for you. It would be just another fun pattern. You just work it in mm -hmm. and keep smoothing so over. So it starts to spin for you. Okay. And so this is fun when you wanna make columns or here, let me show you. So do you see it starting to spin? Yes, yeah. So when it starts to spin, it'll make something like this. Oh, so it's, it's turning. Yeah, oh, I like that actually. So How this one doesn't, angles. yeah, so this one doesn't have spirals. Right. But yeah, you can <gasps> see them right here. They just, and if you do like big long ones, yes. it'll just make columns. And then this is that half hitch that we were doing. Uh-huh, right here, mm -hmm. that first one. Yep, so I just did rows of it here, and then this is the square knot. I'm smitten. Mm. I love this. Nice. It looks so good. Thank All right, where you. can we find and follow you on Instagram to see more? Um, fingers of the Gypsy USA. Oh, that's <laughs> clever. Thanks. Fingers of the Gypsy USA. Yeah, that's these. That's my Etsy and my Instagram. So you sell these too. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. These are all up. We'll link you over if you want to see more designs or shop her collection. Thank you so much. This Thank was you. so fun. You yes, were great. You